Pete has a new boat, and from the looks of it, there are several features probably not legal for civilian use. So you found me. So what? Uh... Pete, I, I don't know what all this is, but you're scaring us. <laughs> what you gotta be scared about? You a shark? Uh, Pete, I don't want to, but I, I think we need to get the police, maybe the Coast Guard involved. You think I'm crazy? No, no. I'm the most sane man you ever seen. Look, I didn't get it easy. But when some... some shark take everything I got, I'll give her the same chance she gave my boy. None! Now get the f off my boat before I kill you too. The f I say! <laughs> Hope you got a hunger on! We serve a shark ain't to fair tonight! Damn! Pete has built an impressive battleship. But will it be enough to endure the prehistoric might of a mega shark? All right, we could fight him. I think we're going to do one last thing. Let's go back to the first area. We're almost done. A peculiar biological adaptation allows the bull to survive in fresh water. Because we're... Uh, because we're almost done. I want to very quickly... I want to very quickly grab everything. So we've hundoed every one of these areas except for this one. Surprisingly, I haven't finished Caviar Key. We're missing one chest. And we got a couple of hunts that we could do. I am losing motivation on hundoing those. Because I'm pretty sure that's just going to give me resources. And nothing more. But I do want to go back here. I also want to see how fast I was. Ah, it wouldn't let me. But yeah, this is the starting area. Craw crawfish Bay, we never came back. So this might have been what the question was, like, had I been back here? The answer is Some yes. Some scavengers. Now I have. Indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. There's actually a, a grotto in here. Not really a gourmand. The bull shark will eat just about anything. Swordfish hit me in the butt. Goodbye, swordfish. Yeah, it looks like it's just resource caches and Quite license a strange plates. Strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks. Wait, did this boat just crash here? So it did. I gotta say, Shadow is by and far the uh, the superior mobility upgrade. Holy crap, I am fast. I'm actually having some trouble navigating. Yep, no, that, that boat just crashed. The solitary okay. hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment. This is speed tech at this point. Eh. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. Hey. Tunnels. Well, might as well bash that one open. Let's see. We want to go through here. I'm actually too fast to have an easy time controlling this. 
This shark understands that she needs to eat essential minerals to stay healthy and grow. Well, I do have to admit, I'm getting this place done real quick. Since there's no, um... It's here in the grotto that the shark can discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul. Since there's no quests in Caviar Bay, it, uh, makes it real easy to get everything. Because, yeah, I could just scoot around and just get this done in a matter of minutes. Never too fast. So I'm going to play Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> you just hear the one guy, ah! He was not ready for me. Well, okay, now we've officially jumped the shark. We... Mutagen and Sonic the Shark is certainly gun. heating up the evolutionary arms race. No one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach. It's truly the ocean's garbage can. Huh. You know, this this would be like the perfect basis for like a proper Aquaman game. Wonder Hundo's this. He might be the first streamer to do so. Oh, 100%. This instantized protein makes a great between meal supplement, giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious mass. Because, yeah, I got a bit of a head start compared to a lot of people. So, yeah, why don't we just head onto this tonight while we're here? First and last streamer to do so. I don't know. I, I believe there are other people that are going to be playing this game. I can see this being a game that speedrunners would get into. I'm too big for that. Alright, caviar key is done. Let's see. Could have added a hundred yesterday. I could have, but I wanted... Uh, let's see. If you had started with this, you know, would have gotten it. Yeah, no, I definitely would have. It would have been pretty late, though. And I wanted to conserve some of my enthusiasm for this game uh, for release day. Mainly just because, like... Coastal overdevelopment creates a riskier, more complex local environment. Hello. Yes, I am Shark. Whoops. To ensure the safety of the public, a bounty has been placed on the fugitive shark. Am I a fugitive? I would say I'm more of a lawless individual to begin with. Come at me. Well, I said to them, you better build that boardwalk higher, because you just asking for a shark attack how you got it now. But do they listen to me? No, not at all. Hey. Deep diver hunter, hey. That's my job. Alright. Where's the sucker? He's over here. Look at how they're always like, it could be anywhere. I'm just like flying over the coast. Mahi, Mahi. Oh, there's, there's the swordfish. And there goes the swordfish. Man, these quests are quick. Uh, let's see. We've got each people over here. Oh, I wanted to go over that. Didn't quite have the... There. Another shark hunt draws to a close. More mafiosos? No? These are just weird swimmers in this area. In pursuit of a go swimming shark. here? Those closest to it prepare for the possibility that they might come home. Where are you all going? I want to know. Okay, maybe I don't know how to properly stock and manage a fish pond, but it's a learning process. 
Oh, that is easy. Bye. What am I supposed to kill here? Oh, 15 humans in this immediate vicinity. What? Or, no, no, no. There it is. Hunted Hammerhead. That's, that's the stuff. Did I get it? No. Uh, no, that's a diver. That's the other diver. This is Hammerhead. There you are. Goodbye. Stop! Let's get a little, little glitchy. I think I'm too fast. A little too fast for this swim part? Where are we? That's something I never understood. Going to like an area that's popular for its beaches and then hanging out at the pool. Especially this pool. It doesn't even look like a nice pool area. It's covered in graffiti. Okay, never mind. That's actually some pretty nice graffiti. Gosh, how many humans do I have to eat here? Oh, it's a skate park that's been turned into a pool. Skate and die. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. The idea of a skate park turned swimming pool. You know, the hunters are just thoroughly confused. They're like, where is he? Just ignoring all of the screaming. Yeah, I used to skate, yeah. They don't give you no scholarships for winning no big air rail jam. I mean, they kind of do. It depends on where you're at. Uh, let's see. So we're almost done with Caviar Key. All we're missing, actually, is the uh, the chest. That's That was it. Well, that was easy. Yeah, a breeze would be Let's see. So I'm gonna go back this way for a second. It's gonna lacking sufficient take... sand or protective dunes, heavily developed areas risk great danger from hurricanes and tropical storms. Now there's that. Bye. Yeah, don't forget to open the gates. Why? I don't need to. Like at this point, I probably could jump the gates, yeah. Also, I don't really know if it would net me anything of any immediate merit or use. Like, sure, it would give me a very convenient shortcut back to a place that I can fast travel to. have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. Well. So we gotta have a treasure chest somewhere around somewhere. Gosh, is this gonna be the last thing? Oh, I always hate this in a video game. Let's see, for the 100%. No, the gates, the gates don't count for percent completion.
Let's see, could it have been on land? They've always been underwater. So we're just gonna quick scoot around. Okay, what if it was in a tiny pool? It's very possible. The thing is, uh, I'm running around pinging because this should hallucinate where it would be. It would be right here. Otherwise, it's in the underground section. Yeah, so we could try this underground section again. Really does not take too long to scoot through. Oh, interesting. This is a big loop. Found it. We actually found it on the way in. And These that scavengers is... of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. I love it how he poisoned Sapphire Bay long after I left. Anyway, that's it. 100%. Uh, let's see. So he's right outside this cave. No, he ain't. I'm in combat? The Used air out here has a distinctive smell. That of sea salt, nitrogen oxides, and... An intriguing bouquet of volatile organic compounds. Let's see. Take, an, take a look at it. Um, I guess I could. The bull retreats to the grotto for refuge and quiet reflection. Wait, no. We want we want these teeth. No matter what, that's how we heal. But we want bone fins, so we're goofy. We no longer need sonar, and we'll never need sonar. This gives me a pretty good defense rating. I don't think I really need the rest of these. So yeah, if I switch shadow teeth over... I would be peak defense, but having that little bit of HP is good. All right, so yeah, let's let's quick fast travel here. See what it looks like when it's poisoned. Even a shark can't help but marvel at this consumerist Babylon. And the answer is, it's just hella green. Somebody really peed some UV lights in this ocean. Or not UV lights. Sorry. I don't know. Toxic waste? I mean, I guess that's supposed to be what it is. Hello there, girlie. As you can see, I came prepared today. You did, did you? Oh, I'm gonna fix you up real early. Well, this is just kind of silly and sad. I think I'm just going to spin ram him into oblivion. We really get going now. It's about them tornadoes.
Okay. So, we got to remember to eat Somebody on these guys. Wow, this is actually just easy. Wow. We're just going hella fast. This is actually just easier than the rank 10 boss fight. Which, for the most part, wasn't even that hard. Send somebody down there. The main issue with it was just that everybody had guns and there were more explosives. This is kind of chump change in comparison. But then again, we never named this shark. I'm gonna call her Claire. She seems like a Claire. I was gonna go with Charlotte, but that's a little bit too Charlotte Webb for me. This is Claire the shark. Hello, random hunters. All right, there we go. Claire the Destroyer of Boats. I was just trying to think of, like, a really mild name. And I feel like Claire is a pretty, particularly mild female name. Maybe, maybe other people have other opinions. Anyway, sup, Pete? How do you feel about spinning? Neat trick, eh? You say that. We really get going now. Are we? We need power. <laughs> Maybe a Susan. Do <laughs> you the last thing I do? I suppose there's a lesson to be gleaned here. Something about how the increasing commodification of the natural world has placed humans on a collision course with an environmental apocalypse. But this is a basic cable show where people tune in to watch sharks kill people and people kill sharks. So until next fishing season, this is Man Eater. Well, that was a really fun game. It wasn't very long and it wasn't as nearly as deep as I wanted it to be. But I liked it. That was a fast 100%. And that's that's kind of perfect for me. I didn't want like a a longer, more like high effort open world game. I've tried that before. And it just sucks. It's it's rarely enjoyable for me to one hundo a game. But this was just about perfect. I hope they make another one. But like, more areas to explore. And I think more fantasy creatures. Like, they were obviously hinting that there were like, eldritch cultists and stuff. Like, how great would it be if the next game was like 50% kind of normal stuff, and then it's slowly just devolving into you fighting like, old ones in the ocean. Yeah, another one with more evolutions as well. Yeah, exactly. More evolutions, more stuff like that. Uh, more, more little auxiliary powers that you can slot in and like kind of choose. Because I really did feel like I was pigeonholed to three different styles because that's the only ones they allowed me. And it would be so cool if they they like really let you spread out the things you could do. Easy answers would be like a glide when you're in the air. Uh. I mean, honestly, full street sharks. A blood-themed evolution would be cool. Ooh, yeah. Uh, an evolution where you can 
chomp on multiple things simultaneously, depending on their level. Uh, and if something is dead in the water near you, you just automatically just the uh, the resources. Let's see, poison Evo. That's actually what the shadow evolution is. They ha that was poison. It just wasn't a very good poison, and I mostly just used it for speed and vampirism. But if you could split it so you had Vampire Shark, which might be also Blood Shark, who knows? And then a full Poison Shark that, that really does the damage over time effect. I think that would have worked. Yeah, surprised they didn't have a Metal one. Yeah, Metal one would have made, made sense. But yeah, I, I would love to see them take all of this. Don't make the game longer, but just give me so many t more toys to play with. Okay, maybe a little bit longer. Explos explosion evolution. Oh, man. How about just, like, a straight-up dragon shark? Where, like, you're breathing fire and stuff? Laser shark, yeah. You give me some laser beams. So, yeah, these could be DLCs, but honestly, I would rather them take this whole thing back to the drawing board, kind of cut out some of the fluff... Redesign certain systems, and then, uh, then just make a new game fresh. Because there are certain games, like, uh, God of War felt like a game that you could keep adding just more areas to and slowly expand it as DLC. But they're just going to do that as, like, standalone games, which I think makes perfect sense. I don't know. It's up to them. I just... I love DLC, but I hate DLC, because whenever there's DLC, like story-based DLC, and I go back to it, everybody's like, eh. And I'm like, no, but this is a good game. And everybody's like, eh. It only works with, like, certain indie games. <laughs> Sharknado power. Yeah, sure. Why not? You go out on... on you you whip up a typhoon out on the water and then you go in to just wreck things on shore for a little while and then you come back out I do a DLC like what Witcher did make it a meaningful amount maybe I just eh. no one ever actually well not no one considerably less people will buy and play story DLC though which always sucks Control did a good DLC. Yeah, no, there are there are plenty of actually good DLCs that are good examples. I just feel like they're always hard to put in. Yeah, combo powers. If you mix electric with hammerhead, you get Mjolnir Shark. Yeah, that would be red. Like if it was mix and matching and some other things. I don't know. One way or another, this is this is a fun little diversion, and I'm glad to have started and finished it all in two days. For me, that is such a nice feeling, because otherwise I'm just permanently locked to games, and that's rough. Evolution with tentacles that's good for pulling people off boats. Yeah, because I had trouble getting people off boats after a while. And so, yeah, having tentacles or force powers or who knows what, that'd be, that'd be good stuff. Okay, you may controller continue to grow, eat, and evolve. Uh, yeah, to do what? Really? So that was actually only a nine hour game. I was estimating it was going to be double that. But, uh, nine hours to hundo it. The peace of the grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness. Let's see, did I get the, oh, did I get Cyberpunk pre-ordered? Uh, no. Mainly because they've, they're just going to give me a key. I, I will fully admit, I almost never... Oh, you could actually have seen what they were going to give you. Well, that would have been nice. I almost never pre-order games anymore. Because half the time when I pre-order a game that I don't think I'm going to get a key for, I get a key for it anyway, and so it's like, whoops. Anywho, I guess with that, thank you all so much for watching uh, Maneater. That was real fun. I guess I'll see you next time. Hopefully they make another.